That's a lot of pickle juice, Gary. Mm-hmm. They are the Wood Enthusiasts. We are super excited to have you here today. And I know I'm excited mostly because we're about to talk about one of our favorite resources and one of our favorite types of wood. Uh, and, and just believe me when I say things are about to get naughty. Fine. If you can come in here, there's a little knot. You see that? a little knot there. And what it looks like here is a twig. You can actually, generally, you should be able to wiggle these out. I should have kept the twig for you. Yeah. They'll have this perfect little hole here. Mm. Uh, we are just, we are enthused. I mean, that's the word I want to use. I know I'm, sometimes I'm just busting with enthusiasm when it comes to pine because it's one of my favorite resources. It's uh, readily accessible. We always like to say things are about to get naughty. Mm -hmm. um, and that's a direct reference to pine. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking forward to this episode because we've got some really exciting things happening. And uh, looking at kind of some of the clips and kind of, kind of the film that we already have in store, uh, I know we're... I know, looking at some of the clips we have, and some of the um, some of the writing that we've done that we talked to, I'm super excited because there's some excellent information. Go on, Gary. Get up that ladder. Well, here's a fun fact for you. <clears throat> Did you realize that the oldest tree is believed to be in the White Mountains of California? They call it the Methuselah. It is a white pine tree, and it's about 4,800 years old. Well, come on back down. We do have a UK uh, contender, however, for the oldest tree. It is in a churchyard um, in... Lacurno, uh, North Wales. There's also a tree in Scotland, a yew tree as well. It's thought to be about 3,000 to about 9,000 years old. Like that is an old tree. We have, we have one bit where we're actually going to be talking about knots. And uh, I know personally I found some terrific knots that I just couldn't, I just excited to show. You know, there's always treats when you're working with wood, and there's things that uh, that you see and that stand out that are always exciting. You know, I was kind of working with this wood. I'm just starting to sand it down. Uh, I've got some more things to do on this table, but um, I noticed, and this is another thing I love, I noticed here that we just have, um, right here, you can see, you can see there's a hole here, and a little tiny kind of a bridge. There's still a bit of a bridge there. But obviously this is where a knot fell out, so that would be another case uh, of loose knots uh, right here this is SPF um, so that again uh, we've discussed this before I know but that stands for spruce pine fir um, so right here we just have this nice little knot here uh, you'll just see you see interesting this middle board this middle board is pressure treated the outside boards are the outside boards are kind of construction lumber grade. Uh, obviously, this piece is pressure treated. That's with sienna, so you kind of get a nice mixed pattern here, don't you? See a mixed pattern, different colors, different you know, 
variations from the, the spectrum of woods. What kind of stuck out? It's just this little knot. It's kind of, well, I guess the knot's gone. Just this whole, what, left, what was left behind? What was left behind? Okay. Uh, a good friend of ours, Glenn Clutterbuck, who is a large part of our writing team, uh, who, who, is, who is an often, uh, he's a reoccurring, he's a reoccurring cast member, but he's, mm. he's not one of the leads. No. He's not one of the leads. No. But he's a reoccurring cast member, but I'm still not too sure. Mr. Clutterbugs, welcome through the forest, water with trees, even though they don't need it, Mr. Clutterbugs. My lips never touch this. This is for the wood. And I just want to show you why. Right here, you come up to this tree here, you see this? Dry. Just so dry. It needs, <laughs> it needs some water. So I'm going to just show you how we do this. Sometimes you spray it. Sometimes you, oh, you know what? That's actually a telephone pole. That's why that one's dry. But there are so many dry trees. I'm not too sure about it. No, he gave me a call the other day, mm. and I know I've, I've spoken to Gary about this before, so I know he's okay with it. Mm. But Glenn told me that he actually has a piece of zebra wood. Mm. Yeah, he's going to bring us a piece of zebra wood. We're going to look at it. We're mm. going to because zebra wood has some trick. What I like about the zebra wood is it combines the black and the white. That's right. That's right, Gary. That's that's wonderful. That's wonderful. It's the insight, you know, even there's, there's, you know, I've known Gary since 1996 and, yeah. and even there's years where we will sit and we'll sit by the campfire yeah. and it'll just be silent and we will sit for hours and all of a sudden Gary will come out with something. He'll say something, um, deeply profound, uh, something similar to what you just said. Mm. Um, and I'll just have, I'll just, I'll just have to sit back and take it in and soak it in. And I've done that for years now, uh, years, years, years. And, and, you know, when we're off camera, Gary's usually the talkative one, to be honest. Uh, he's the one. It, not not necessarily shy as much as he doesn't want to speak. He's he's not interested in speaking because he doesn't necessarily like people. He doesn't necessarily like people. So, look what you can do with just a little bit of wood. Oh, would you look at this? Oh look my goodness! Look at the knot there. Look at this piece. Very natural knot. Oh, careful! It's, it's called. You're a, gonna want to sand that first groove, before you a soft group knot. Yeah. So what we had here is at some point. Look at this in the backside. So the mill ran through. Yeah. This is the milled side, this is the unmilled side, this is kind of the natural side, the smoothness. And that's what you would want to keep. This is this is a very natural piece, very beautiful piece. And this is a really nice piece. This is a really nice piece. Look at that. A really nice piece. This is a really nice piece. Would you hold that? Hold that in for a second. Yeah, I'll hold that. Do you have a rub fresh? I do. Let's have a look. My first memory actually goes back uh, to my earliest memories. Uh, and that would be going to my grandmother's house um, for family dinners. What I remember most is walking in the front door and my dad would say, you know, he's like, come on kids, let's go, you know, bring in the food and, and all the kids would be running around and we'd be, we'd be getting the food. But my attention was, it was instantly drawn to this beautiful table. It was a beautiful, beautiful table. It's probably about seven feet, uh, seven feet in length and maybe, maybe three and a half feet wide. Look at this, look at this, Gary. Look at this, Gary. Gary, look at this. Look at this, this is cherry oak. Look at this, Gary, look at this. This is cherry oak. I, I, at the time, at the time I thought it was this beautiful cherry, cherry table. It was, it was, you know, this beautiful thing. I actually found it later, later in life, it wasn't. It was actually maple that with a cherry stain. It was the maple table with a cherry stain and all these years, for years and years and years and years, years, I thought it was a cherry table, but uh, you know, cherry wood. Um, and so, so I kind of, I felt this love for cherry wood because I, there was this big, beautiful table and had this, had this thick polyurethane gloss that I would kind of, you know, I, I would instantly run into the house and I would I would run my hand along the beveled edges and kind of feel the corners and, and feel the gloss and kind of feel that thick, that thick, heavy, you know, kind of massive table. You know, you, you had this huge feeling. And I just remember thinking that, you know, probably it was a hundred years ago that, that some man was, you know, just kind of hammering and sawing and nailing and putting this table together. I think it was at that point where, where, it, where my love for wood truly began because I, I think I, for the first time, even at a very young age, you know, even at a very young, I was a very young boy. Uh, it was probably for the first time that I, I really, I understood the power of wood. You know, I understood the ability that it had to transform lives, to, to transform a living room, to transform a dining room, um, to make, to create. And I think that's really truly where it first began when I, when I saw the depth and, and kind of the beauty of this table. Oh, Mr. Gilbert, look at this, look at this horse. Look at this! Gary, Gary, would you look at this? 
Gary, look at this. Look at this. Gary, look at this. Come here. Look at this. Oh, you'll notice there my my dog just jumped right in right inside of the fence there. Didn't even. Hey, Slipper, get out of there! Slipper, get out of there! This this dog never listens to me. Gary, you need to retrain that and tell him that when Larry Woodstone's talking to your dog, he needs to listen. Because Sliver never, Sliver's still in there. Oh my goodness, Gary, look at this, Gary. Oh my goodness, Gary. Gary, can you see me? Gary, come in. Gary, come on in here. Oh my goodness, Gary, it's running. Oh my goodness, look at this, Gary, they're talking to me. See how they're waving their tails and they're jiggling their bellies. That's how they talk. You'll notice that both the horses are just beautiful. And we know that because if you look at them, you can tell that. Oh, look at this, one nipped. Gary, did you catch that? One's nipping at the other horse. I think Dark Stain, I think Dark Stain took a bit of a nip at Cherry Oak and I think they're upset at each other. Well, thank you for joining us for today's episode. I hope you appreciate it as much as I did. There is, there is some really excellent um, clips in there and funny things that happened. And uh, I hope you return to, to the next episode. Um, but how are they going to do that, Gary? You're going to want to subscribe. Um, and like and follow us. And, and Gary, Gary doesn't know doesn't know the whole world of the internet, but he has figured out subscribe. So if you can click on the links above us, you're gonna see links all over here. I'm gonna leave a little dead space um, so you can look at the links. I want you to know, Larry, is that there are very few people in this world who enjoy wood as much as you do. Oh, that's and I want to right. uh, just let you know that I hold you to a high esteem. Oh, Gary, that's such a wonderful thing to hear. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Gary, thank you. That's such